Welcome back to Treasure Hunting with Jeebus, guys. And today, we're doing something very, very interesting. So as you can see behind us, we're at a huge storage unit here. And we have six total boxes that look to be absolutely loaded with high, high-end stuff. Very expensive stuff. There could be thousands of dollars in these boxes right now. I'm not going to tell you what's in there yet, but just know that it could be very high class. And what we're going to be doing is we're doing a collab with Storage Auction Pirate, and we're going to split the boxes in half. We each got three boxes, and we're going to see who has more value in their boxes. So if you want to see the other three, you're going to have to head over to his channel to see what he finds. But for us, we're going to go through it now. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you're new. Let's do it. All right, guys. So right now we're going to start with this box. And the reason why is it says coin collection. And you know I've been getting really into the whole money thing. So fingers crossed, we want gold, we want silver. And we get paper instead. Oop, no, I see coins. We got, oh, 40 coins, statehood, quarter set, uncirculated. Look at that. A whole set of uncirculated quarters right there. I mean, even at face value, how many is in there? 40, so even at face value, it's 10 bucks now. Obviously, it's gonna be worth a lot more than that because they're uncirculated. And I don't know how it's a state set when there's only 40 quarters. That's kind of weird. I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, it's been a long time since I've been in school. Aren't there 50 states? Maybe. Let's keep going. So here we got cigar box, maybe. Oh no, bingo. An old school bingo set, look at that. That's pretty cool. Let's set that aside too. Where do we go? Uh, a candle, a fake candle, uh, it's, it smells good. Put it like that. What do we got in a little secret box here? What do you think's in there? Drugs, money. Man, they taped it up like crazy. Okay, you know what? We'll come back to this, because I'm not getting it open. Oh look, a magic knife, where'd that come from? <laughs> a magic knife. Let's go through it and see what's in there. What do you think it's gonna be? Put it down in the comments before I open it. If you don't put it in the comments, you don't get to see. I won't show you. I'll figure it out and I'll block you. You have to put it in the comments now. Just kidding. You ready? It looks like this is actually, so this is actually storage for collector's coins. Like they have a couple of rolls here. I don't think there's any actual coins. Well, that's boring. Oh wait, what is this? I'm lying, I'm lying. Oh, this is the other ones. It's the last 10. So that's one whole set over there. So we got 50 state quarters right there. And this is like the little sleeves people put collector coins in. So we'll set that aside as well. Put the magic knife over there. What do we got here? Reed diffuser? Oh, am I opening it upside down? Uh, I don't know. Oh, what is that? It's like chess pieces. A glass chess set? Could have value. Could be with cheap junk, I don't know. You guys gotta let us know. What's in it? Oh, guys, this is full of money. Let's get in there. Oh, what do we say before we started? We wanted gold and we wanted silver. We just opened this up and there are four sets of gold quarters. Now I got these gold quarters before and somebody told me they're worth like two or three dollars a piece because they're gold plated. And I think we might have another whole set of 50. So that right there could already be a couple hundred bucks and we just opened the box. How do you compete with that? Let me tell you, you don't. Let's keep going. Whoa, what is that? What, what is that? I don't know. <laughs> Another fake candle there. Now, the coins and everything are nice, but ripped up magazine, huge value. Each piece of these are going for about 20 bucks on eBay each. And we have, I don't even know how many, a lot. Big money here. Is this a, a fat jab? I can give a fat jab. <laughs> That's my fat jab. Uh, what else do we got? Ooh, what's in the basket? You think it's more money? Hopefully. Oh, it's stuck, it's stuck. How do I get in there? Ooh, Ooh it looks like more dice, uh, checkers pieces. I used to actually have a glass set that had checkers and chess. I always like checkers more. Mainly because I don't know how to play chess. Don't tell nobody. Let's look in here. Ugh. Just looks like a few decks of cards, some dice, and that's the board to the checker set. So that's their little game basket, I guess. We have cards here. What is that? Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I saw this. And <laughs> I'm not gonna say what I thought it was, but use your imagination a little bit. All this money here, like, somebody told these obnoxious trucks to shut up. But all these are 20 bucks a piece, 20, 40, 60. 80, this is 100 bucks right here, all day. We got money, 120, 140, 100. There's like $1,000 in ripped up paper. 
right on the top because we ball big around here. What else do we got? Oh, I see more coins. Oh, nope. Empty tube. Trolled. A little bit more like, what is that? Envelopes and Christmas cards, things like that. We even got a book. That book. Now, if you look over here, there's a tape box in here. Oh, it's got a lot of weight too. So we're gonna hope that's full of coins. Let's see where our magic, where did our magic knife go? There it is. What do you think's in here? Put it down in the comments before we cut it open. Don't cheat and not do it. Seriously, put it down there. This is like the first time we've had a knife. I know, right? It's so convenient. Usually it's just 30 to 45 seconds of me fighting <laughs> with the tape. We got into it. You ready? Three, two, one. I'm not showing you. No, I'm just joking. We're just joking. We're just joking. Let's see. I was about to be disappointed. We got. Is it all glassware? Yeah, it's just going to be random ornaments and glassware and things like that. So I'm not going to bore you to death with that. So a lot of glassware there. Let's set that aside. Ooh. There's some more gold quarters. For some reason, just two random gold quarters in New Mexico and in New Mexico. Is there something special about New Mexico quarters? Not that I know, but more gold coins. Nothing in it. Nothing in it. Uh, books. Oh, there's a box down there. Look at this. Look at that. Let's see what's in the box. Uh, artsy, craftsy things. No gold coins. Hmm. Some more artsy, crafty stuff. And other than that, guys. Looks like all artsy, crafty stuff. Yeah, I think we took all the coins out and everything left is pretty much arts and craft stuff. So, on to the next box. So, I thought we were done with that box, but look what slipped past me. Another whole roll of quarters. These are, I don't know if they're silver plated or just regular quarters or not. This one doesn't have a label on it. It just see, says that. Then from it. That's all we have to go off of. But other than that, now this box is done, let's get on to box number two. All right guys, so box number two, and if you look closely, this one's actually labeled football collection. So you think we have memorabilia? We could have game worn jerseys, who knows? There could be anything in here. This could be a million dollar box. And we got books, I'm done. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but we have, let's see what we have in here first. We got Reader's Digest, really? Reader's Digest? Have you ever seen this in the football field? I haven't. I mean, that's just me. We have one, two, three. Oh my God. Look at that. Four, hold on, we're gonna get there slowly. Five, six. I mean, it's a crummy team, but it's there. Let's get there slowly. Let's look at these bottles first. I'll show it. I'm making them interesting. A bottle with a corkscrew? Isn't that a cork? <laughs> we got, we're gonna act like that doesn't exist right now. What's that? What do we got here? Is that nothing? Nothing? Nothing is just there. What is that? Is that like an old iron, like a hand iron? Cool. I guess. I mean, who, is there anyone out there that's impressed by hand irons? Please let me know. <laughs> Candle, vase thing. Set it aside. If it falls and breaks, I'm running. Another big vase here. Look at that. Vases are random because I swear, like, some of them they look identical, and it's one from the Dollar Tree, one's like a $2,000 high end piece. It's like. I don't know which is which. Got another bottle here. Oh, I see baseballs too. At least one. Let's see what's in here really quick. It's like too square. Is that a camera? An old camera. Like it's such a random assortment of objects. Like what do you just have in your box? That's the box I keep my football helmet, my iron, my <laughs> vases, my books. Let's get to that in a second. You guys have to wait. Another camera. Nice. And another baseball. This person was a collector. Look at these cameras too, like, that's such an odd thing to collect though. Like baseball memorabilia, football memorabilia, like, okay, what else? Old cameras. Okay. You do you, homie. We got another one here. They're heavy too. Look at that Matthew? sucker. Huh? Ooh. It's heavier than it looks, isn't it? Yeah. There are a lot of collector cameras in here. I wonder if they're valuable. Listen, to me, this isn't a camera. That's just too odd feeling. Ew, that's an old. That's an old A bobblehead, but look at the side of his head. It looks like their chances of winning games destroyed. Let's keep going. What else do we got? Is this another bobblehead? Oh yeah it is. The pirates this time. I think we know somebody that can have this one over here. We have here. a pirate. 
We got a pirate like for the pirate. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got in here? That was amazing. Oh, another camera. This one, I think it's a Kodak. Yeah, this is an old Kodak. Check that out. That's pretty cool, too. There's a lot of. I was not expecting to find cameras in here. That's kind of a strange thing to have with sports memorabilia. There's another sign ball in there. There's a lot of balls in here. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> we have another camera here. This one's. I don't even know. Like, what? Let me see the name on the back. How old are these suckers? Right there. Focus. They look Fold ancient. Them. Foldex. Foldex? Yeah. There could be a lot of value here. We don't know. It could be worth nothing. It could be worth hundreds, if not thousands. Who knows? The collectors. What do we got here? That's boring. I wonder why it's in there. Oh, I thought that was a bowling pin. See a collection? That? Oh, uh, well, it opens up. I yeah, know. they open up in different manners than normal ones. Mm. Look at that. Cool. So I wonder if they're like still functional or just old collector pieces. That'd be kind of cool to get a picture taken like that. There's another one open. Turn it sideways. These make good black and white photos. Cool. There's a lot of baseballs in here too, but we're going to make you guys wait. What is that? Uh, Looks like you push it and something squirts out. I don't know what. I don't want to know what. <laughs> but that's what it looks like. What do we got in here? Just another bobblehead. Feels like a bobblehead. Do we have some good baseball players like Yankees? Yeah. Cardinals. Yeah. I guess the Cardinals is, that, is better. Look at the bottom of that. Is that sign or is that just No, it's just on St. Louis on there. Oh. You know that those are really old. Yeah, they do look really old. I wonder how much value they have. If you guys know, make sure you let us know in the comments. There are a lot of base. There's four baseballs and a helmet over here. This is insane. This is fun to get. Look at that old Cubs one, Chicago. <laughs> These are really old looking. I mean, they could have a lot of value. Hmm, that's pretty cool. Another bobblehead, maybe? No, this doesn't feel like one actually. Another one of these Sia collection. If somebody knows anything about this, make sure you let us know. Why are they wrapping these up? Are these valuable? I have no idea. Vases, like I said earlier, vases are one of those things. Two can look identical. One of them is worth a buck, one of them is worth a thousand. I can't even get this out. That just looks like a vase, as you can see, right there. Just a vase. I didn't do that. We have a bottle hook. I think this is another bottle or vase. Another bottle of vase. This table's starting to fill up. Okay, so I, I think these. I oh, know this is a bobblehead right here. I was about to say, they're all vases. I'm just going to leave them there. Those right there, all four look like We have some Yankees. Cincinnati Reds. <laughs> they're old. What's the date on these? Cincinnati 1962. Reds. Wow, they are ancient. <laughs> no offense to anybody. No offense. <laughs> this might be a bobblehead as well. Did we get Yankees? one Yankee? No. Nope. Mike Piazza. Piazza. You never heard him? I don't watch baseball. I've heard of him. Just, yeah, Mike Piazza. Even she'd heard of him. I never heard of him. I feel like the Sandlot when everyone's heard of Babe Ruth except me. The Great Bambino? The Sultan of Sports. Athletics. The Colossus of Cla <laughs> <laughs> The Great Bambino. If you haven't seen the Sandlot, you haven't lived. You really yes. haven't. I don't, you don't have to like baseball to like the Sandlot. This is just a. Oh! Money! Money! <laughs> $2 bill. We found cash in a jar. <laughs> I don't so know why so many people collect $2 bills. It's They're not rare. Like you can go to any bank and get $2 bills. Unless they have like a red seal or a star or something like that. They're just worth $2. I don't know why people collect them. What else have we got? Oops. And here we have another camera. Look at that. Yeah, start recording your videos on That's this. weird. Alright, you I think know. we should start recording our videos on this? I'm trying to find a date on it. I don't see him. If we find anything, we'll let you know in a recap. Don't worry. Let's get into the baseballs. Who do you think they're signed by? Hopefully someone um, good. Not no ace player. You can't they're not labeled. And the autographs are so, very faded. It's like pencil. Um it's like upside down. Come on. I don't want to touch it with my hand. Usually they're labeled. Can yeah, you see I can't anybody? tell. I mean, I can see it. 
I don't know who it is, but if you guys know, put it down in the oh comments. My God. Is that Jeebus? What? No, it looks like it says Jeebus, doesn't it? Jeebus okay. signed it. <laughs> but none no, of these me, balls are, none of them are labeled. Let me focus I don't know if this is like a World Series team or a high school team. Because the balls aren't MLB. They're like official league, so it's usually minor league. Ooh. You want to look at that one? Yeah, this yeah. one. I can't tell the autograph, though. Well, on baseballs, the most common place to look is always going to be the sweet spot because the number one player usually gets the sweet spot. It looks like a Steve Archison. I don't know. Hmm. Is there, there's multiple. Yeah, um, you generally try to look for the... The cool guy. Who's you think the best. that's pencil or is it like faded pen? Oh, that's pen for sure. But that's this might have sat in the window. See, like if the other one looked more vibrant. If yeah. you put yeah. this in the sun and this is the one hitting the sun in your office, it's mm -hmm. gonna fade, whereas that one's gonna stay longer. Okay. Yeah, because this one looks the same, but again, no label, just autographs everywhere. So I mean, it could be like 1927 Yankees, or it could be Joe's high school baseball team. Nobody knows. Until you do some real research. Hopefully you guys can let us know. Like none of these balls have been, they're all official National League. None of them have been actual MLB baseballs. There it goes again. Let us know if you've seen that one. And we have one last thing. This to says get to. to somebody. Just recognize anybody on that Best one. Best wishes. This is Hank Aaron. Hank Aaron? Yeah. Wow. Best wishes, Hank Aaron. Two. Oh, two, two Greg. Two Greg. Yeah, two Greg. Best wishes, Hank Aaron. You recognize anybody on that one? I'm trying to. Well, they got the red, the Randy Moffitt. So, like, what you do is like what I would do. So, Randy Moffitt, you know he's the player. So, you go and you look all of the teams he played on, and then you start right. cross referencing. Who is this guy? Who is this guy? Chris Speak. Let's pull out the big boy. <laughs> oh. Look at that. Niners. Look at the chin strap on it. Like it looks like it's game used almost. You see that? That's not like a new chin strap. I never played no baseball. I did play football in high school. That chin strap is not supposed to look like that whatsoever. Can you see the signature on that? Yeah. Somebody make sure if you know who that is, let us know down in the comments below. But guys, these two boxes have been insane. We still have one more to go. So you know what? Let's get into the last one. All right, guys. So now the third and final box. And this one is labeled purses. So let's hope for some high end. We want Louis Vuitton. We want big money. Let's see what we got. And look, speaking of big money, first thing we see right there. Look at that. Kaboom. How, what do you think the value on that is? Probably a few hundred easy. And let's see if there's anything. There's money. Oh, no, there's not. There's paper. There's maybe the receipt. Probably the receipt. Ew. <laughs> There's hair in it. Look at this. <laughs> <Don't> oh. <laughs> okay. So we have a weird stalker person's unit. Right. It's a lunch menu with someone's hair in it. Yeah, it's probably the lunch lady's hair. I really want to know the story behind this. <laughs> really badly. That's like the grossest answer I could come up with. <laughs> yeah, I know. Whatever. Lunch nice little hair. purse there. Let's keep going. Ooh. A few more. These are all well taken care of purses. Yeah, some of them look brand new. What brand is that? Somebody let me know in the comments. Yeah, is know. that $10 or is that $100? I don't know. Somebody's got to let us know. Oops. Now it just lost half its value. Oop, that's um, Ralph Lauren, right? Oh, uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah, a new one. Aren't you guys proud of me? <laughs> Give me a round of applause down in the comments, please. I deserve it. I got a purse for you right. I knew this day would come. And as now, ease now. That that looks weird. It looks like like your mat in your car, like the floor <laughs> of the car. That's what it looks like it's made of. And we got a gas. Gas is not really that high end, but still, we'll get at least ten bucks for it. Not bad. Oop, Dooney and Burke. Still in the package. Every nice. Dooney and Burke we've gotten, we sold the cheapest one we sold was fifty-five bucks. Does it have a price tag on it? Uh, does not. This has a design on it. Oh, okay. Cheap is 155. We've sold some as high as 80 something. So good stuff there. Oh, that's Louis. Oh, there it is. Look at that. What do we say before we opened it? Got a nice little Louis Vuitton in there. Does it have a stamp or anything in it? It's got coach. Isn't that coach paper in there? Well, it looks like it. 
I don't know. I don't see a heat stamp in there, so you guys be the judge. Think it's real, or do we have a fake on our hands? I'm gonna say real because I want it to be real, so it's real. Believe. Believe and it will happen. We also got, what is that? These look like someone like cut up Uggs and made them into a purse. Mm. It's kind of weird looking. Put no that brand aside. on that one? No brand. Trash. Vintage paper though, vintage paper is expensive. Good money in paper, vintage paper. Ooh, what is that? Doesn't this look like just like a little, oh, it's coach. Look is at that. Is that a price tag or no? Ooh, no price tag, but it does have the coach tag on it. So right. we got a coach bag on it. Let's see if there's a stamp inside or anything like that. And I don't see it, but I also don't know where to look. So I wouldn't be able to tell you, but there is a coach tag still on it. So if it's a new coach purse right there, that's big money. Set that one aside. What do we got here? Whatever it is, it's Mark Jacob. Oh yeah, look at that. It's got the price tag on it too. 85 bucks on it. I like it. those colors. Brand new, $85. And it still has a tag on it. Money! Let's keep going. What do we have here? It doesn't really say. Can you see like the sweat just dripping off of my face? It is hot in California. It is hot. I'm trying to act like it's not bothering me, but it's dripping oh, everywhere. God, I just zoomed up to your sweat. It's, it's bad. <laughs> this one's Armani Exchange. <laughs> I'm trying to keep my head away from all the stuff because I don't want to get spilled on that it. That was so focused. That's great. I probably look like one of those anime moments where like a sweat drips off their nose and they're like, ugh. <laughs> Gas. Gas isn't too expensive, unfortunately. But on Poshmark, you still get 10 or 15 bucks for every guess. I don't know. Another gas one in there. It looks like the same one. Same one? Yeah, two of the same one. And... What is this one? Let's see. No brand? Look on the tag on the purse. Coach. Okay. It's got a coach stamp on it too. The heat stamp's in there again. And that looks, it doesn't have a tag, but I mean, if somebody used it, they used it once for like a special occasion or something. That is definitely in really, really good shape. What do we have here? I don't, I don't know what to say about that. We have right. that. We just have that. But in the face. I'm it's gonna like use that one. <laughs> We have oop, Fendi. Go, boom, boom, boom. Let's see, does it have anything in it? The zipper, I know like that's one of the things they always look for at Authenticate Purses is the zipper. If it has like those default zippers that have no logo on it, it's junk. So I don't know how else to authenticate Fendi. Uh, the ones we run into the most are Louie. They're either fake or real, you never really know. A little, it looks like Backpack from Dora almost, except it's yellow, doesn't it? <laughs> we got, G here? Is it Gucci or Guess or what is it? Can you tell? Guess. It's on Guess. the front. Oh, it's on the front. That helps a little bit. Here's another coach. Still on the wrapper. Look at that. Heat stamps on it right there too. Another coach purse. That's like the third coach already. This box is bank. So much money right here. That thing. On brand. It looks like jeans made into a purse. Other than that, guys. Saks Fifth Avenue bag. I don't think any of the other ones are high end per se. That one is a Kenneth Cole reaction. That's decent. Better than gas and not like a gas or Louis Vuitton. Or not gas. Better than gas and not a coach or Louis Vuitton. This one's American Eagle Outfitter. So, really, all three of these boxes were insane. I don't think it's going to be possible to compete with that. I really don't. But make sure you still go over to Storage Auction Pirate and see because it could be close, but. <laughs> I think we got this one. All right, guys, so tell me that was not the most three epic boxes you've ever seen. For us, by far, those boxes had more value than anything we have ever seen. But remember, this is a competition. If you wanna see what's in the other three boxes, and let me tell you, it's really good too. You're gonna to have to head over to the Storage Auction Fire channel to see that, and you let us know. Let us know who you think won the competition. Be smart, you know we won, but you gotta go see both sides of it. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up. If you're not already, hit that subscribe button for us treasure hunt videos all the time. If you do wanna follow us on our social media, links are gonna be on screen. Click the links down in the description below. Make sure you follow us on whatever you have. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, peace out.